L.R., the liberal redneck here, coming to you from a country where the desperate Republican Party of old di dying white men keeps jumping on the wrong bandwagon with disastrous results. First, it was the Trump bandwagon. They viewed him as their savior and re refused to impeach him or convict him despite the overwhelming evidence of his guilt. And it's now it's likely he will be the first U.S. president convicted of a felony. In desperation, they are claiming that an indictment of Trump would lead to rioting. It is the opposite that would be more likely to result in riots. Because Trump brought all the fanatical evangelical Christians to the party, Republican politicians jumped on the anti-abortion bandwagon, and that is proving to be a major mistake. A huge majority of voters, regardless of political affiliation, were in favor of keeping Roe v. Wade, and Republicans ignored that fact because their evangelical supporters endorsed it. They were so misinformed they thought that everyone else felt the same way about abortion. They have long shown a total disrespect for women, and that is coming back to bite them in the ass. The rejection of their anti-abortion stance has rendered them scared for their political lives. So now they have jumped on the student loan bandwagon without thinking it through. They were eager to take advantage of the Paycheck Protection Program, or PPP as it's commonly known, which was designed to pay workers wages during the COVID pandemic. Naturally, they did not use the PPP funds to pay workers' wages. They were consumed by the fact that the loans would be forgiven and used the money to fatten their personal pocketbooks. To date, the Secret Service has recovered $286 million in fraudulent loans and they're just getting started. That has made their outrage at student loans being forgiven incredibly hypocritical. They have gone so far as to claim student loan forgiveness has hampered U.S. military enlistments. Where will the military industrial complex get their cannon fodder? Trump stooge Lauren Boebert claimed on Fox News that student loan forgiveness actually pays for lesbian dance theory. What the fuck, Lauren? In all fairness, she had to try three times to pass her high school GED test. As a Democrat, I'm happy to see the Republican Party make such utter fools of themselves. But as an American, I am saddened by the complete destruction of our two-party system. When properly functioning, it is a valuable safeguard. It does not take a genius to realize the Republican Party has sacrificed every ounce of their integrity on the altar of political power, and the result is their all-out effort to prevent as many voters as possible from being able to cast their votes. Voters must step up on November 8th and give Democrats the necessary majority to salvage our country from this terrible situation. A valid reason to vote for Republicans simply does not exist. You can reach me with comments, questions, or suggestions at the liberal redneck at gmail.com. And you can listen to all our podcasts at blogtalkradio.com forward slash the liberal redneck. Thanks for watching.